Thank you so much. So that was a song from a film I scored called Anita, about iconic gender warrior Anita Hill, on whose shoulders the Me Too movement was born, and also the last 25 years of the women's movement has been standing. Anita said that sexual harassment is less about sex than it is about power, domination of one over another. And like so many of us in this room, I'm a survivor of sexual assault, and, and my experience was one of not being seen, like I didn't matter. And when you're there, when you, when you don't matter, you're there to be dominated. And I think that this is at the root of every issue we face, whether it's economic inequality, police brutality, gun violence, it's domination. Homophobia. Racism. 
mass incarceration. It's domination. Man-made climate change and the destruction of our water and air. Animal cruelty. And perpetual war. It's domination. One person or entity leveraging its position of power over another who it deems to be insignificant. And all of our movements, whether it's Me Too or LGBTQ or Black Lives Matter or the peace movement, you name it, we have something in common. Our fight for the right to be treated with respect and dignity. And none of our movements will ever truly triumph until we collectively move from a domination paradigm to a paradigm of inclusion and compassion and respect for each other in our daily lives and for the other. Until we realize there is no other, there's just us. And this was never more profoundly and succinctly stated than in the signs that the sanitation workers wore when they marched with Martin Luther King. I am a man. If you don't know the history of these signs, I want to give you a moment of history. So in 1968, at the height of the civil rights movement, the sanitation workers in Memphis were living under subhuman conditions with dirt pay and no safety laws, and two of the workers were crushed by a garbage truck with no reparations, and that was the last straw. They went on a citywide strike, and Martin Luther King flew into march with them, and their signs, their signs didn't say safer working conditions or higher wages. They simply said, I am a man. And when I learned this, I was completely blown away. And I realized that these four words declare what the, it, what's at the center of every movement, what we're all saying. I am here. I will not be erased. I will be counted. So how do all of our movements come together to heal what can ultimately only be healed collectively without whitewashing or silencing important individual voices and experiences? Now's not a time for generalizations, I know. I think we do it around a central concept, though. A concept of respect and dignity. The crystallization of which is in these iconic signs. I am a man. So 50 years later, can we learn from the direct unifying words of these freedom fighters? Not getting hung up on the word man? With all due respect to these men's specific experience, but rather, can they be a guiding light around which we come together, really seeing each other and hearing each other as one human family, moving beyond domination and division into song?
Yeah.